Okay, 10.2, finding zeros of a polynomial function written in factored form. This is very much just like how we did with the quadratics. If you want to find the zeros, you set the y value equal to zero. And since this is already in factored form, all I have to do is set each factor equal to zero. I'm going to take 2x equal to zero, x minus 1. You don't need to use the squares. I'll do it once. But then for all the rest of them, I'm not going to be putting the squares, and you'll see why. So here I would divide by 2 on both sides, and I get x equals still 0. Here I would take the square root on both sides, and normally you get plus or minus, and the same for this equation. But this will make the house go away, leaving me with x minus 1. But the square root of 0 is 0, and it doesn't matter whether it's plus or negative the value is still zero. So you don't have two equations. You just have one equation with one value. So really, if you notice, if I would have just taken what was inside the parentheses equal to zero, I get the exact same thing as I would have if I took the whole factor with the square equal to zero. So to save space on your paper and save time in the future, we only take what's inside the parentheses on the factor. We don't need to take the exponent, okay? And if I add one to both sides here, I will get x equal to a positive 1. Same thing here. This will go away. Square root of 0 is 0. And if I add 5, I will get 5. So what are all the zeros? The number 0, the number 1, and the number 5. These are all the x-intercepts of the polynomial function. Now, same thing here. So you can't take this factor equal to zero because three does not equal zero. So it doesn't make sense there. But if I take this factor equal to zero, I get x equal to six. If I take this factor equal to zero, I get x squared equals 49. And if I take the square root of that, I get x equals plus or minus seven. So I have two values here. And if I take this one equal to zero, Remember, you don't need the exponent on the outside, so you don't need a parentheses square. This square was on the inside, so I did need to include it. If I minus 6 on both sides, I get negative 6. So there are four zeros here. There is positive 6, positive 7, negative 7, and negative 6. Those are all of the x-intercepts here. Now moving on to the last one so we take this whole factor equal to zero it does have an x value in it so i can keep solving so i get x equal to still zero we get x squared plus 36 equal to zero moving over the 36 i get negative when i try to take the square root i get imaginaries i get six i get plus or minus right six and then an i because of the negative okay now you it doesn't ask me for that what did the directions ask me for it said find all real zeros here so if i do end up getting imaginary answers those are not going to be included in my answer because the computer only wants the real zeros in this particular topic so i do add the 16 over i get positive 16 I do take the square root, I get plus or minus, and the square root of 16 is just four. So I have three zeros here, the number zero, the number four, and the neg number negative four. Now I actually have five zeros, but two of them are imaginary, right? We have a positive six i and a negative six i. So there's two more zeros to this polynomial. It's just they're not real, okay? And the computer is only asking me in this topic for real um, zeros, 